Hello friends, I am Professor Yasar Shinde from KKWA College of Agriculture Business Management, Nashik. Today I am here with a new topic that is humus formation, importance of CN ratio and pH in plant nutrition. Humus is a complex and rather resistant mixture of brown or dark brown amorphous and colloidal organic substances that results from microbial decomposition and synthesis and has chemical and physical properties of great significance to soil and plants. Let's see the humus formation. There are two steps of humus formation. First one is decomposition and second one is synthesis. So let's see decomposition. Decomposition results as a chemical in the plant residues are broken down or drastically modified by soil organisms. Lignin and other simple organic compounds broken and taking part in second humus forming processes that is biochemical synthesis. The simpler compounds are further metabolized in the body of soil microbes. After decomposition, second step of humus formation is synthesis. So synthesis reactions involve such breakdown products of lignin as the phenol and phenols. These decomposition products present initially as a separate molecules which called as monomers which are enzymatically stimulated to join together into polymers. By this process of polymerization that is linkage process, polyphenols and polyphenols are formed. These high molecular weighted compounds interact with nitrogen containing amino compounds and gives rise to humus. Studies suggested that uh, there are two general groups of compounds that collaterally made up humus that are humic group and non-humic group. Let's see humic group. So polyphenols and polyphenols which are even more complex. They are amorphous dark color and have high to very high molecular weights and these both compounds come under humic group. In case of non-humic group, the non-humic group uh, comprises about 20 to 30 percent of organic matter in soils. Non-humic substances are less complex and with lower molecular weights. Let's see the properties of uh, characteristics of humus. So the tiny colloidal humus particles, uh, which we call as uh, micelles, that are composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, probably in the form of polyphenols, polyquinones, polyuranoids and polysaccharides. The surface area of uh, humus colloids per unit area is uh, very high and that is generally exceeding that of silicate clays. The colloidal surface of humus are negatively charged, the source of charge being hydroxyl, carboxyl or phenolic groups. At high pH value, the cation exchange capacity of humus on mass basis is about 150 to 300 centimole per kg far exceeds that of most silicate clays. The water holding capacity is about 4 to 5 times more than that of silicate clays. Humus has a very favorable effect on aggregates formation and stability also. The black color of humus tends to distinguish it from other colloidal substances. The time exchange reactions with humus are quantitatively similar to silicate clays. After uh, humus and humus uh, formation or uh, properties or characteristics of humus, we move towards the CN ratio. So what is meant by CN ratio? It is the ratio of weight of organic carbon to weight of total nitrogen in soil is known as CN ratio. When fresh plant residues are added to the soil, they are rich in carbon and poor in nitrogen. The content of carbohydrates is high. This results in wide carbon nitrogen ratio, which may be 40 is to 1. Upon decomposition, the organic matter of soils changes to humus and has an approximately CN ratio about 10 is to 1. A wide ratio of CN is about 35 is to 1, which indicates the little or no decomposition leads to susceptibility of uh, susceptibility to further and rapid decomposition and slow nitrification process. Here are some CN ratios of various organic materials given. So soil microbes having CN ratio range about 4 is to 1 to 9 is to 1. Soil cattle manure having 20 is to 1 to 40 is to 1. And in case of, uh, in case of uh, light bedding, it is about 20 is to 1 and heavy bedding, it is about 40 is to 1. 
horse manure about uh, in case of straw bedding uh, 27 is to 1 and uh, sawdust bedding 60 is to 1 wheat straw 80 is to 1 poultry manure 5 is to 1 to 10 is to 1 soil organic matter 10 is to 1 to 12 is to 1 legume residues having cn ratio range about 20 is to 1 to 30 is to 1 and finally sawdust having about 500 is to 1 now which are the importance of CN ratio in plant nutrition? So CN ratio mainly controls the decomposition rate in soil. As the wide CN ratio leads to slow decomposition rate, nutrient immobilization may occur. Carbon and energy wastage in large quantities. Activity of microorganisms restricted. Total amount of nitrogen is limited. In case of narrow CN ratio, there is carbon and energy starvation occurs. Plant residues decomposes quickly and releases nitrogen or nitrates readily. With high CN ratio, there will be intense competition among the microorganisms for available nitrogen. Second one is a source of food and energy for plants. Soil organisms require carbon for building essential organic compounds and to obtain energy for light process, but they must be also obtain sufficient nitrogen to synthesize nitrogen containing cellular components such as amino acids, enzymes and DNA. Microbes need to find out find about 1 gram of nitrogen for every 24 gram of carbon in their food. So microbes having 8 is to 1 ratio means microbes must incorporate into their cells about 8 parts of carbon for every 1 part of nitrogen. Next importance of CN ratio in plant nutrition is influence of uh, CN ratio on nitrogen release. It controls nitrogen availability in soils and plants also. So it controls nitrogen availability in soils and plants. So if CN ratio of organic matter is about 25 is to 1, the soil microbes will have to scavenge the soil solution to obtain enough nitrogen. Thus the incorporation of high CN residues will deplete the soil native nitrogen which causing higher plants to suffer from nitrogen deficiency while low CN ratio about uh, less than 20 organic matter helps in increase the nitrogen content of soil for plants and organisms. Next importance is the decay of organic matter can be delayed. So if sufficient nitrogen to support microbial growth is neither present in the material nor available in the soil. Next importance of CN ratio in plant nutrition is influence of CN ratio on soil ecology. The soil ecosystem consists of saprophytic bacteria and fungi and also nematodes, protozoa and earthworms that grow rapidly on organic residues as a food source. Now we move towards nutrient availability and soil pH. Nutrient availability is influenced strongly by soil pH. So this is especially true for phosphorus which is most available between the range of pH that is 6 to 7.5. Elements like iron, aluminium and manganese are soluble in acid soils. Above 7 pH calcium, magnesium and sodium are increasingly soluble. Phosphorus is particularly reactive with aluminium, iron and calcium. Thus in acid soils insoluble phosphorus compounds are formed with iron, aluminium and magnesium. At pH range above 7, the reactivity of iron, aluminium and manganese is reduced. Maintenance of soil pH is essential for phosphorus solubility and availability. In general, the availability of nitrogen, potassium, calcium and magnesium decrease rapidly below pH 6 and above 8. If we manage properly, soil pH is a powerful regulator of nutrient availability. Magnesium, zinc and iron are most available when soil pH is in acid range that is below 7. Therefore, it is important that soil should be tested regularly and pH must be maintained to achieve the maximum efficiency of soil and fertilizer nutrients. In this way, we have covered the topic humus, humus formation, different properties or characteristics of humus. Then role of CN ratio and pH in plant nutrition. So friends, I hope you like this uh, video. Thank you so much.